Hi there! Today's video is going to be about mitochondrial DNA. So mitochondrial DNA is what we use to trace the ancient female lineage. So your mother's 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 mother. We can trace back by using the mitochondrial DNA. So what are mitochondria? Mitochondria are structures within the cell that take energy from food and develop it into a form that is useful for cells. Mitochondrial DNA itself codes for over 16,000 base pairs, which is 37 genes. And these genes generally provide instructions for making enzymes which are involved in oxidative phosphorylation. And this is the process of using oxygen and simple sugars to create the cell's main energy source, which is adenosine triphosphate. So one of the questions that we get asked quite a lot is that why DNA is used to trace the father line? The Y chromosome is used to trace the father line. Why can't we use the X chromosome to trace the mother line? And so the answer to that is quite simple. Basically, the Y chromosome is only passed down by men and it's only received by men. But the X chromosome is passed down by both men and women. So although men only receive one copy from their mothers, women receive one copy from their mothers and one copy from their fathers. So it would be impossible to trace a direct female line back by only using the X chromosome, which is why we use mitochondrial DNA. It's only passed down by women, but it can be received by both men and women. And so mitochondrial DNA is also inherited as a block, and this block of DNA contains many markers which can be used to trace your ancient female ancestry. Mitochondrial DNA is also particularly interesting because many women in history left their place of birth to find potential partners, so your mitochondrial DNA could come from the other side of the world. Thanks very much for listening today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more videos on the genetics of ancestry testing.